So today we have something very, very special. This is going to be my first ever time playing Pez 6, the legendary Pez 6. And uh, apparently, if you look at the reviews, this was rated as one of the best Pez games of all time. 9 out of 10 from IGN, 8.7 from GameSpot, and then 70% from Tweak Town. Don't even know who they are, but they're not very happy with Pez 6. Now, Pez 6 is also remembered for Adriano, who was a footballer playing on God mode in the game. We're going to be using him today as well. I have to test him out. But yeah, this guy had 99 shot power, and apparently he was like unstoppable basically in the game. Anyway, you guys know the drill. We're going to be putting Pez 6 through its paces. Checking out the menus and the graphics, the gameplay, all that kind of stuff. I'm very interested in seeing how one of the highest rated PES games is going to feel like in uh, 2022. Of course, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe for more PES history videos as well. Alright, so the gold does bring back memories. Even though I never played the game, I still recognize that gold color. You can always tell it's PES 6 when you see that color. But let's press the start button here. Okay, so we've got game level. I'm not going to go top player or anything like that. Never played the game before. Professional, probably even too hard. We'll just do regular today, just to kick things off. Now, this is another iconic menu. Even if you've never played PES 6, you still know this menu. And Adriano there is the player in the Inter kit. So overpowered in this game, I need to find his stats first. I just love how blurry everything is in 2022. It probably looks a bit better through your screen, but if you've got a big monitor, it does look a bit blurry. But you can see Ibrahimovic was playing as well for Inter at the time, but Adriano was the main man. I don't know what happened to this guy. I haven't seen him in a long time, but at the time he was 24 with that deadly left foot. And he had 91 attack, body balance 97, stamina 84, top speed 86, acceleration 90, response 81, agility 82, dribbling 86, dribble speed 82, uh, shot power down there 99, shot accuracy 86, and shot technique 89, free kick accuracy 85, swerve 84, header 81, jump 86, technique 88, aggression 92. Then we've got dribbling, there's some traits there, I don't know what that means, and uh, I don't know what his overall is though, can we find it? I don't know, I can't see it here. All right, so on the menu system, you had match, you had master league, which is like your career mode, the league, cup mode, training mode, edit mode, options, international challenge, and random selection match, probably internet stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the training. So step-by-step -step training, free training. And let's just see, let's uh, get Adriano on board here. All right, so we've got Adriano on the ball here. Look at the pace, my goodness. This guy's quicker than every player in FIFA 22. And unfortunately, I pressed the wrong shoot button. I think I was supposed to press square. I pressed a circle, but anyway, we'll have to fix that up. I forgot that Pez was different. That's uh, almost gone in. So here's Adriano again. Look at the pace. My goodness. This guy was an Olympic sprinter, literally. Have a hit from there. My goodness. Look at... Oh my gosh. Look at that shot power. You can't replicate that with any player in any other game out there. That was incredible. Let's see what he does here. My goodness. It's like instant. Like you press the shot button... And that thing, that ball just flies. I mean, yeah, I could see how this guy was so overpowered. It's incredible, just the pace. If I just let it fly, wow. Can you believe what you're seeing on your screen? I didn't think it was going to be that crazy. I read all the newspapers, all the stories about this guy, but I could not imagine it would be this crazy. It's like a whole new experience. Once you actually control the guy with your own controller, it's absolutely nuts. So here is a look at the Master League menu. You can see that it's uh, very different to what we have these days, but... It did the job, I guess. You could go to your next match. There was a locker room, data, negotiations, which is like transfer stuff, regulate conditions, uh, development sheet, edit team, general settings, and your save uh, options there. And uh, that's about it. So we're not really going to do Master League today. We're just going to focus more on just like a kickoff match, seeing what the gameplay's like. So I just wanted to show this so you guys know what it looked like. All right, so we're going to play an exhibition match here. Inter Milan versus Man United. I'm going to be controlling Inter Milan today because I want to try that Adriano out in the game. Um, let's see here, we've got the kit selector there, that's pretty basic stuff. The entrance scene, you can turn that on or off, so I've never seen that setting before. Difficulty, probably going to keep it on regular. I just don't know how this game is going to play at the moment. Home and away, no. Uh, match type, X, I don't know what that means. Penalty kicks, yes. Oh, extra time, sorry. We'll just do, alright, we'll do it just in case, we'll see what happens. Um, number of subs, 3 injuries, yes. Match time, 5 minutes or 10 minutes, we'll keep it at 10. The time will play at night, season, I don't know, winter, summer maybe, winter, uh, fine weather. And the stadium, let's see, we've got Old Trafford, Highbury, Red Caldron, Magpie Park. Are these real names? I don't know. San Siro is real. Deli Alpi was the old Juventus one, Stadio Olimpico. I think we need to play in the San Siro because of Inter Milan. We've got the Bernabeu. Uh, there's, a, there's a nice little bit of variety here. I mean, nothing too incredible, but there's a couple stadiums here that you could enjoy. So I couldn't believe how good this Inter team was when I actually took a look at the lineups here. It's incredible. Um, let me just do what I have to do here. Simple start, maybe. 
Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here now. I'm trying to um figure out how to get access to the players, but I can't. All right, I think I've got it here. Edit position. So we've got Julia Cesar, we've got Cordoba, Samuel, uh, Zanetti, Grosso, Vieira, Cambiaso, Figo, Dian Stankovic, Ibrahimovic, and Adriano. This was a nice little team. On the right, you've got Man United, you've got Van der Sar, Ferdinand, Brown, Neville, Evra, O'Shea, Scholes, Ronaldo, Giggs, Rooney, and Saha. So let's see how this goes. Should be a good game. All right, we've even got flares in Pez 6. Mate, there's some FIFA games that don't even have flares. I don't think uh, FIFA 22 has flares, only for a few stadiums, but... In the Sun City, you can um, see the flares, the flags as well. And I think there's like seat decorations as well. Uh, but they're very, very blurry. I can't really spot them. We've got the tunnel cutscene here. You don't even get that in FIFA 22 probably. So uh, let's see. Okay, the blurriest inter flag you're ever going to see in your life. And then we've got the players walking out. Um, no photorealism here, I guess. The graphics definitely look like it's coming out of 2005 on the PS2. The crowd is like pixelated you can't even tell if they're people or not you can barely make out that that's the inter kit the words on their kit are blurry unless it's zoomed in like that but even the inter badge is uh blurry still and uh i guess they're just doing the anthems the lineups whatever they do and you got the man united uh team there ronaldo there ready to go of course so let's see pez 6 in action and i've uh, fixed up the controls here so circle will be shoot but yeah it's pretty responsive i mean not bad at all the cameras are a little bit too zoomed in for my liking if i can uh Zoom it out, it would be nice. So you can do like vertical close, and there's also the normal stuff. Broadcast. Uh, let me just go to normal long, I think. See, so like, back then, like, if you played on this camera type, it would be, like, weird. But now this is, like, the standard. Like, everyone likes the long camera angle. But those old games always zoomed in a lot. I don't know why. Let's see what we can do here. Adriano's got the ball. Going to play it. It's a nice little pass. It's going to stay in. And we're looking for the cross, maybe. And there's no one there. Rooney on the ball. I think this United team wasn't too bad either, so it could be a tough opponent today. Already doing some loose passes. Skulls. There's a lot of pace in this game. Everything feels pretty quick. Even like players that don't have enough pace in real life feel quick in this game. Play it up. Adriano lays it off to Stankovic. So far, Adriano's doing some loose passes. Looking for Adriano. He's going to have a hit, maybe. No. Look how much pressure. He's got like three, four players on him. And I just need that opening. I just need that opening, but I can't get it at the moment. Looking for Adriano. Here it goes. No. Nope. They, they're shutting him down good so far. They know that once he gets the ball, it's game over. Skulls has the pace of uh, Usain Bolt here today. Adriano, let's see. You can tell that Adriano's in, like, God mode because he plays different to everyone else. The moment he gets the ball, he just feels quicker than everyone else. Stankovic here, let's see. Adriano picks it up again. I really want to take a shot, but they're shutting him down so quickly. Oh, my goodness. This is it. Look at this, man. <laughs> it's calling me. This this free kick is calling me, man. I don't know how to take free kicks in this game, but we'll see what happens. Adriano, let's see. Let's a fly. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad, but I don't think he was going to score. It was too far out anyway. Rooney going towards goal. Has a shot. Good save. Got Grosso. I remember Grosso from the 2006 World Cup. Cambiaso. Loses it. I mean, United on regular feel like legendary difficulty. They're not really giving me much. Ronaldo, very quick as well. Look at the pace on Ronaldo. Crosses it back, and uh, they head it wide. So, yeah, it's a very quick game. I mean, you can try and sprint, but there's always a player that'll catch up to you. You have to think very fast, and they don't give you much time on the ball. You do do a lot of uh, missed passes as well. There's a lot of loose passes that go around as you play. Let's see what we can do here. Cambiaso plays it up. Ibrahimovic lays it off to Adriano. Going to have a hit from distance. Adriano just testing it out. Just testing it out. It's so much power. Here's Grosso. Cambiaso loses it. That's going straight to Adriano. You know what to do. Turn on the turbo boost. O'Shea's keeping up with Adriano. Something's wrong in this game already. Uh, Cambiaso's having a shocker. Not in the right positions when I need him. Let's go here. Vieira. Oh, man. I can't dribble in this game. Dribbling's pretty tricky. Ronaldo. Actually, that's not Ronaldo. Why well, keep saying Ronaldo for? Saha heads it over the bar. So let's go down the right here. Figo. He's got a bit of pace. Let's look for Adriano here. We've got him. Oh, almost found him. Let's go. Nice pass. Ibrahimovic can't even get there. Yes, he does. Oh, my goodness. It bounces off his head. Go to Adriano. Gary Neville. If Gary Neville keeps up with Adriano, there's a problem. Yep, there's a problem. Ibrahimovic plays it up. Adriano got to get there. Third and end quicker than Adriano. You love to see it. Adriano on the ball again. Let's see who keeps up with him. 
Nice, nice. For look at this. Ferdinand keeping up with Adriano. Oh, I hate this. I hate when the games always do this. Anyway, we've got a chance here. Adriano, oh, first big chance. I tried to put as much power on the shot as possible. I really want him to score. That was the only half chance we had. It was going out anyway. Looking for Adriano here. Oh, is he going to get there? No. Cambiasso on the edge of the box. Has a hit. It's going over. Play it up. Nice passing. Vieira. Now we've got a bit of space. O'Shea's keeping up with Vieira. Adriano on the left foot. Keep going. Oh, my goodness. Gary Neville just gets involved when he's not supposed to. Skulls chips it over the top. I don't want to concede now. Looks like it might happen. Oh, my goodness. Almost. Ronaldo bringing it forward. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What the hell happened there? Let's see here. Skulls has a hit, I think. Oh, good save. The keeper left it late to sort of dive to that one. Bit of theatrics there. Here we go. Saha dribbling like Ronaldinho. Get up, keeper. Get up. There we go. We cut it out. Can we score? No. I just can't get the ball off these United players. Finally, we get a bit of relief here. Zanetti, play it up. Ibrahimovic, he's done well. Brioni's keeping up with him. We're waiting for Adriano to get into the box. There's no support. I'm just going to float it in now. Adriano's there. No. He's never there because there's always a United man there. Let's take on the whole team, Adriano. Let's go yourself, mate. Oh, he's got it. He's still got it. He's going to lay it off. Vieira. Play back. Adriano, put your leg out there, bro. Why is Gary Neville like the best right back that ever existed? They really got him on lockdown, this uh, United defense. They've put Adriano on lockdown. Anyway, th there could be a chance here. Here's Zanetti coming down the right. I think we've got Adriano in the middle. There he is. Oh, my goodness. How close. How close was that, man? Adriano on the ball, ref. Come on, that was dirty. Where's the free kick? Are you serious? Stankovic, have a hit. Oh, my goodness. This United team, bro. Let's go again. Figo turns. Plays a through. Have a hit. Ibrahimovic, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a mess. Got Adriano here. Look at that. Go, go, son. There's no way Ferdinand's keeping up with him. Oh, two players on him. Look at this. Ferdinand has caught up with him the whole time. Can you believe this game? Still can't get the ball off Saha. The guy's dribbling like Ronaldinho with the pace of Messi. So yeah, this PES 6 uh, game is pretty fun, actually. I'm having a lot of fun here enjoying it. Um, obviously, the graphics do not hold up well, but uh, everything else seems pretty fine. The responsiveness is okay. I would say that the difficulties are a little bit too hard. Look at that, man. Why are those center backs keeping up with Adriano? That's my only complaint so far in this video. My only complaint. Oh, we've got it here. Come on, Ibrahimovic. Go, son. Ferdinand, why is he running like an Olympic sprinter? Can someone tell me why? I don't like that, man. That, that's the only thing. And this is on regular difficulty as well. Imagine what the harder ones are. But overall, it's been pretty fun. I enjoyed um, playing with Inter today, versing United and stuff, testing out Adriano as well. I can see at the time how this would be rated as a, a good football game, even a great football game. I can't dribble, bro. I can't dribble against these centre-backs. It's unbelievable. Cambiasso's had a shocker. I don't know what he's on today, but his head's in another world. Gary Neville was like the, the most overpowered right-back I've ever seen. And those are my only complaints today. The rest is all right. We took that guy out. We absolutely killed him. I don't know how much longer we have. Probably injury time now. Is there any skill moves I can do in this game? Cambiasso. One last chance. Nice passing. Adriano picks it up. Turns. Oh, look at this. Adriano. Rio Ferdinand has annoyed me the whole game. Him and Gary Neville have annoyed me the whole game. Well, we're going to go into penalties now. That's the only way we're going to resolve this game. Because no team has scored. So there's no indicators to help me out here. I don't know where I'm going. I'll just go left. What, what, what's going on? He shot it automatically. Didn't even give me like five seconds to think. But he scored, basically. He's not mucking around. How do I dive here? I don't know. I'll have to check out the analog sticks there. Oh, don't even have to dive because Solskjaer has missed it. Ollie's at the wheel, boys. Kicking it wide. And Ibrahimovic steps up. We're going right. Beautiful top corner. Look at that placement. Unbelievable. Let's go again here. Rooney. Oh, he's going to score. Go right. Oh, he dives over it. Stangovic. Let's go left. Oh, he's hit the bar. I just tapped the circle button and they put like 200 shot power on the penalties. Here's uh, Park Ji Sung here. Oh, how did you not save that, man? I'm getting them right, but the keeper's not helping me out. It's always been a problem with Pez games. The keepers dive, but they never save it. Figo, beautiful. I reckon he'll go straight. 
Oh, ha nah, this is rigged, man. How does he not save this stuff? Seriously. Cambiaso, he's had a shocker all day. And another shocking penalty, my goodness. Why did I keep him on the field? And Skull's here, let's see. We need to save this, I doubt it. Nah, straight down the middle, it's all over. Thanks to Cambiaso. Thanks to the overpowered United defence. This is the result today. Anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like for me. It always helps. Make sure you subscribe for more Pez History videos. I'll see you next time.